I remember we did the stunt training and um, James, who was doing our stunts, our stunt director, actually cracked the whip so we could know what it was like. <laughs> and I'd met Louisa once <laughs> and she was stood next to me and he cracked this whip and I genuinely moved her in front of me. No, oh, no! <laughs> that was how our <laughs> friendship started. so died. Thomas of you. Yeah. A word of warning. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> I am on the run for murder, but I didn't do it. She shot him! You're a liar. Murder! Murder! Who is this, Nellie Jackson? A highway woman. <gasps> I think like every element, I mean, Sally, I mean, the characters are so brilliant. The, the world, the magic, the fantasy, you know, the period. I think just every element attracted yeah, me to yeah, this. Like, I mean, it's so, it's so, it's just so original, right? Oh, it so just original. felt so refreshing. I mean, Sally's name, Ben Taylor, Louisa's name um, were the things that I sort of knew that you, you were already attached to it and stuff. And so I was like, like what's, uh, you know, how, what's not to love? And the scripts were phenomenal, obviously, because it's Sally. So, yeah. yeah. Really, it's really simple for me. I'm really not, uh, honestly not at that stage, especially at a place to be like choosing jobs. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm not, and, it, and it's so, it's so, it's such a gift. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you see something and it's good yeah, and you yeah, desperately you want it. it. Yeah, yeah. But did uh, you audition for it? Oh, so many times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You both auditioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, Loads. So many times. And yeah. it, did you get So what was it like when you were offered it? Was it like Oh my I I was I like knelt down in my garden and was like <laughs> Because you never, honestly, you finish a job yeah. and uh, especially at that stage you go, hmm, am I ever gonna work again? Even, mm. like the next day, you're mm. like God, I need another job. Um, so <laughs> that, and it being so good, and it being a period drama that Sally Wainwright had written, and I don't, I hadn't auditioned for many period dramas. It was just very, yeah, it was an easy, <laughs> yes. I mean, every, I, everything, everything that was on the page was incredible. Mm -hmm. To play a Sally Wainwright villain is just the most insane idea. <laughs> um, and yeah, I feel completely lucky as someone who hasn't really worked very much before to kind of get in the room and get seen for it and um, yeah to you get to look it. to get you to look know it. to be related to this one is also <laughs> great so yeah, yeah yeah I found my long lost brother <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. but no to work on Sally's writing and and for me it's you know I'm I'm coming over from the states and it's that's a huge privilege to be able to meet all these amazing people and, and work on a show like this to work on a show that's a period piece and fantasy and drama there's so much um, and the characters are, are so layered. Uh, so yeah, to get to work on Sophia was, was wonderful and kind of see her start very closed off and, and quiet and see where she goes from there is very exciting. I think I was attracted to this show for two reasons. It was a genre that I'd been, as if like from a kid, desperate to make a, a fantasy action show. And the other reason is Sally, who I was a mega fan of and just any opportunity to work with her and, and, and direct any of her writing. But the combination of those two was such a mad prospect of Sally doing a, a fantasy action adventure was, yeah, just irresistible. I think it was one of those where, within the space of three pages, so there's a cold open fight sequence that happens before the titles have even rolled, that was so ludicrous and audacious and, and violent that it's like, if we got that right, you know you could get the audience and you could keep the audience. And I think it was a scary proposition. I probably gave an inordinate amount of time thinking about those first five minutes. But it was, yeah, as soon as I'd read that, I was desperate to do it. I liked the sort of uh, slightly heightened sense of like uh, comedy about it. You don't read stuff or see stuff so often that it, harks back to kind of Blackadder-esque vibes. And um, I also really liked the, the supernatural element. I'm a big fan of restoration comedy and like wigs and that sort of stuff. So for me, I was, I was really intrigued by, uh, by that world. It's not something that I've had that much opportunity to explore really, so I loved that. Again, it, it was a script. Yeah. Uh, it was fantastic on the page I really wanted to get to the end and for me that's 
that's the nugget really mm -hmm. it, you can say oh it's this or that or that director or this thing but actually do, can, can you put it down and if you can't put it down mm -hmm. it's something to be connected to and also the the, the character is great <laughs> 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 the character, i can't even keep mean? a straight face when i say the character's great i <laughs> loved it um, <laughs> It was it was so good. I mean, I've always wanted to sort of say a one line and then go like that, and I had the wig. Yeah, mm. so finally. I what, finally. Wig? What, what did you name your wig? Uh, one was. Is it Adria? uh, One was Adriana. 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 I had two wigs, mm -hmm. and one was Olivia. Olivia and Adriana. They were very different. Yeah. They had very different characters. Yeah. Different thoughts. Um, <laughs> Mum was just like I think wiggy. Wiggy. <laughs> my horse was horsey. I didn't name my my pieces. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big periwig for you. If we get to go again. Oh. Please. I think for me, Disney, Sally Wainwright, I thought that was such an interesting mix and just not obvious it was going to produce something interesting. I just remember like one of her lines, I don't think this gives anything away, was you arrested in Slough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like just know. that line, Slough. Slough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, Slough? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought it was genius, you know, and I still think about yeah, that yeah, line yeah, because there was such line, a sort yeah. of comment, like not the fact he yeah. was arrested, but the fact he was arrested in Slough, like how low can you go? And I just yeah, thought this Slough, is, this is, I love Slough Slough's too, great. I know. <laughs> and, and it's really naughty, but the thing is she is, really clever yeah. because she just knows who are you i'm on your side what do you mean you're on my side i'll protect you i think you're magic comedy's difficult comedy's hard guys so like there's a lot of like timings and like taking things seriously that you shouldn't take seriously or that i frank wouldn't take seriously or not taking other things seriously that you're like, well, this is pretty serious. Why are you not thinking about this? Why are you thinking about, you know, how you look at this moment? That kind of stuff. Mm. That was for me what was my you seen how you look? <laughs> White wig? Yeah, 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 yeah. Loads of makeup? Yeah, yeah, I look, I know. I don't I'm know why I was worried. No, you look fabulous. Look I'm wonderful. joking, but it's not Marlon Brando. <laughs> my favorite thing about my character was that he was joyful. That's, that's honestly, the, and he had a lot of energy in it. And I think uh, it's hard because the challenge becomes your your favourite thing because when you read a character and you say that he's enslaved and then you read him and it's, he's joyful, you go, oh, that's a bit of a challenge. And then you realise that that's quite radical. It's quite radical to show that it's a form of resistance against his enslavement is to be joyful. Um, so it's kind of the same thing. My favorite thing about it was was working with just such an amazing cast. I mean, we really have such an incredible cast, core cast, and the guest um, mm. artists that we had come in were just brilliant. And that was probably my favorite part about it. Mm. I mean, that, but but being on wires. But if I'd have just said being on wires, it might have. Yeah, you didn't have any. You didn't have any. Coasters. But because because I, I didn't because I didn't get to interact with you as much. But the cast is phenomenal. Billy Blind was always he was always sort of up on the board. And he's, he was one of those decisions that sort of get, kept getting pushed down the road because like the more pressing things were like locations and the first round of cast and the costumes and stuff. And we knew Billy was there and we, it took a long time to, to get there. And Nick for me was very much my first choice. So we ended up being in this position where Louisa had to perform like the classic thing, performing to tennis ball or whatever which she was incredibly convincing at. Like some actors look at it and you can see there's no engagement, but she, the way she engaged with something that wasn't there was, was really amazing and like a big relief for us. But she, she didn't know that she was performing with Nick until about episode four. And then we started to be able to shoot Nick's side, which is obviously in a green screen and motion control and lots of amazing complicated wire work. But we had the benefit of having Louise's scene completed, just missing him as an element. So we were able to shoot with very accurate previs where we knew we needed four seconds of him jumping from the bed onto a gun or, so we could make sure even as we shot that it, with a mix and overlay, that it was all working. I think we'd already filmed like a month before we were waiting for you to say yes, basically. Right. <laughs> 
So I didn't even. Right. So there's some scenes where I didn't even know it was you playing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember you had started. For, yeah, because I was on Ted Lasso season three when you started production. So I we didn't know if it was going to be possible, but we really, mm. really wanted it to be Nick for, for so many reasons. And I, I had my heart set on it. So um, but we never, we'd never, no. we never did anything, any of the, nothing you see in, in Renegade now. Are mm. we together ever? No, which was, it, it kind of makes it all the more magical for us than seeing is, them. No, I was realizing that when I was watching it that you. Because the islands, I mean, like, technically, it is quite demanding. I mean, I'm probably more technically demanding for you because you had no reference whatsoever. To no, what but I'd then I doing. suppose they just put, you know what I mean? They go off of yeah. my eyes. So you're then, you're quite restricted. And, and but no, well, yeah, but they would tell me just, they just said, that's where you have to look and it yeah. can't be, you know. But um, <laughs> but when you watch it, it's like we're looking into each other, you know, it's like, yeah. I, lo- I love that for it. But it was, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it is difficult. It is sort of more challenging because you're not. But then there was some rehearsal, that, like, you know, we had like a day rehearsal where we did some stuff. And and so we knew we knew what we were both doing. And, I, and actually, I, I was so lucky because I could watch all of your stuff as well. And um, even though it wasn't all edited exactly how it was, I could no. sort of get a good feel for what, what the scene was. And no, it's amazing. Where Billy had to be. It felt very like Lindsay Lohan in The Parent Trap. <laughs> That's what I felt like. I'm a big fan of action stuff. And I think where action works best is when it is born from character. So... It's not just cut to the action sequence, cut to the fight. We wanted it to sort of bleed into the fact that it would it would sort of enlighten us and inform us about who this character is just by her style of movement and her fighting. James Emery, who's our fight choreographer, we've just spent brilliant, silly afternoons in the office together just pitching ideas and horrible to admit that I just steal everyone else's ideas but we'd go back like into the 80s and re- remember this shot from this and this moment from that there's a bit where Nell jumped backwards off a carriage in the opening scene that's ripped off from Back to the Future 2 so you were there and you were just magpieing bits and coming up with the rules and we were designing a superhero from scratch so we were in charge of with the rest of the team and with Sally sort of figuring out what Nell as a when she has the powers, what she capable of and what what she not allowed to do. I loved it. I mean, it was terrifying um, and you feel quite silly. Do you know what I mean? You feel a bit stupid because you're obviously not the strongest person in the world and you're pretending to be the strongest person in the world. But I had such an incredible stunt department and stunt double, Melissa, who um, who gave me that confidence and uh, and I really, really got into it at the end. They are phenomenal stunt people. Like they're, oh, they're the, the, the amount that they reassure you and train you and James, encourage yeah, James Emery. Yeah, made I mean, me just... feel like I was Katie Taylor and uh, yeah, that, that's I'm forever grateful for that. Is evil in the ether? We must deal with Nell Jackson. No mortal will touch her. Get after her! She's saying she didn't do it. No one's gonna believe me. All my sisters. Maybe we're supposed to do some disruption. I'm really going to enjoy destroying. How about you put a cork in it? <laughs> and I'll still take this outside. Good God. Some of the fight sequences were really fun. I worked on wires for a day, which was yeah. so fun. I would love to do it again. Um, yeah, the ma- some of the magic stuff was really exciting to do. Love horses. Horseback riding is great. But yeah, the, there was, got to work with some like fire and yeah, I would love to do some more of that. You're quite good at that stuff, aren't you? I you love it. I like doing that stuff. Oh, I yes. Find it quite She's firing. It's on yeah. fire. On fire, yeah. I mean, it is a spoiler, so I probably can't say it, but, but, but uh, there's a scene in episode eight towards the end that was particularly moving, I guess. And I had your performance to react to, so I was very lucky. And But I remember the, the actual flying sequence of that they had created because Billy's like, this big holding on to Nell's finger at the time and so they'd built a massive <laughs> finger, yeah, <they're> just... <laughs> finger a robotic massive finger for me to be holding on to and being moved around. and so it felt very like Amazing. ethereal like it felt correct but um that was and, and maybe the first time we meet Billy was quite fun it's quite a fun scene but, but yeah, yeah that's a great scene that's about tons to choose from yeah I mean I, I and I yeah they filmed so much but in episode four, um, episode four and five, we have Art Malik, uh, the actor who, the weeks that he was in, and it was summertime, the two of us just had just glorious, glorious days together, so I suppose. One of my favorite scenes is that opening, where was it like a musical, uh, is it episode yeah, seven, seven right? Yeah, is seven, yeah, he's brilliant. He's he phenomenal, he's yeah, brilliant. phenomenal. Just like continuous, a lot of it's continuous shot, or is it a single shot, I don't know. It, it, it is mostly, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of Birdman tricks, yeah. but I mean, yeah, it is mostly it's one shot. Phenomenal, phenomenal opening to episode. 
the whip sequence stood out for yeah, me to get that to that fun. with Louisa because I remember we did the stunt training and um, James, who was doing our stunts, our stunt director, actually cracked the whip so we could know what it was like. <laughs> and I'd met Louisa once <laughs> and she was stood next to me and he cracked this whip and I genuinely moved her in front of me. Oh no! <laughs> That was how our friendship so started. That's so Thomas of you. Yeah, that so Thomas. Thomas of you. And then when we were actually shooting it, I had an actual whip. Mm. Terrifying. They let me have a whip, guys. Uh, very irresponsible. Very On a irresponsible. Disney show. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I know, like, it's 3 a.m. and you're like whipping down a camera. And they got, and the, got everyone left the set and they just do it. It's crazy. <laughs> Y'all got like rained out like seven days. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were like the in the mud, fight fighting, <laughs> mulleted up. Like it was crazy. It's good fun though. Yeah. I'm like we're still not done. The fight with Thomas with the whip and the drowning was a lot. Like we were, we were shooting in summer so the light was against us. So we were only shooting like four hours a time. So we'd do, I think we did it over five evenings and that was grueling. But when you see it cut together and it works, it's just, it's so exciting. I, th I shouldn't admit, I think I did steal some bits and bobs. There were things they made, they're just such amazing artists that were designing the show and they made this run of mugs that were, people were drinking out of in the Tolbert pub. And I think I nicked one of those. That was very, yeah, irresistible. But yeah, you had things like all the weaponry, which obviously you couldn't steal, but just was so intricate and so detailed. So Thomas's whip has a stag's head carved at the bottom of it. I, yeah, quite fancied that. Um, but no, it's one of those sets where you walk on and it is, it's so accurate. Like you had, in terms of costume and production design, people, the, the designers were just so clever and meticulous. So yeah, you sort of had to keep your hands to yourself and, and not pocket everything you saw. The last, my last costume. Oh really? The whole thing? You just take it. Would you wear it or would you put it up or what's that? I'd wear that all the time. Oh, that, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Super villain that is, isn't it? So good. Yeah. Mm. I definitely At first I was like, there's no anything. way. And I'm like, there's a way. There's a way. <laughs> there's a the way. The purple too. The purple. The purple was oh, amazing. they're all so good. Yeah. I wouldn't take Tom the weird. Did so good. Maybe I'd take the whip. Oh! Yeah. Not in a weird way, but just. <laughs> sounds weird. Not in a weird way. Like Frame it. Well, that's the end of that Just put it, it. <laughs> use it. You use it. I mean, it's Disney. Just, no. to, just to look at. Just yeah. to look at. Just to look at. That or and like um, any of the kind of frills that they had. Oh, Not yeah. the wig, though. Love the, the wig gloves. was huge. Mm -hmm. Wow. Put that? There Rude. was a, a point where, when we were all getting dressed, we noticed and acknowledged the, the detail in the costume, oh, the design God. and the make. And I did think, why don't people wear this stuff anymore? Mm. No, no, I mean, not day. everything, <laughs> but just the detail in the yeah. cuffs and the matching colours and the, the brocade material. Yeah, Tom was so amazing. Wasn't yeah, it? It amazing. Was beautiful amazing. stuff. Tom I, mean, I, I really I couldn't wear, wear it in Peckham. You know. Yeah, for real. Could yeah, you? yeah. You couldn't really. You could no, I, 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 I could. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Let's yeah, Tom, Tom was fantastic. Yeah. It was really good. Amazing.